Yo. Hey, hey, we're here. We're queer. Samsung over. I'm, I'm hurting. Gay. I'm down for the count. Oh, yeah. You Next just, game. You just taped the special. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to get it off me. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, uh, look at that. There it is. That's a Goodness. Sally original That's right there. That's a great shot. Great shot. You got the lady, the hot lady in the front smiling. Love that. Check it out the package. Got your, got your ass right there. Yep. How many shows did you do? We did four shows. First three were, were good. Like, I think we got something. But the last show was magic. That's what I heard. You need the magic. I was texting people for updates. I was getting... Salacuse is sending me updates. James Webb, who's directing, is sending me updates. Uh, little Garissimo is sending me updates. Oh, yeah. Everyone's sending me updates. Yeah, I told them that the first two shows you were playing, like, prevent defense. It's like, don't fuck up. Yes. Don't yeah. fuck up. I was stiff. Yeah. But I was nervous. Thank God I did four. You yeah. got to do a multiple. Um, and... Will Sylvance hosting. You forget, this guy's a pro. He's been doing comedy since 81. I forget that all the time. <laughs> there he is. There's Will. Uh, and yeah. so he's really getting that energy going. So that was huge. And yeah, then look at Gary him. comes in. And he's such jokes. a fun hang, Will. I love oh, him. Oh, great hang. He was bombing in the green room. <laughs> There's Gary. Look at that. Doesn't even move. He plants those two <laughs> tiny feet and just stays there. This is why he thinks we can get away with eating like pigs on the road because. We don't move on stage. Right. We're both right. immobile. Yeah. Yes. And by the way, he was in charge of ordering food all weekend. And he blew it. What? He said, I said, we got to get lunch on Saturday. He said, I got it. He How picked you... the queefiest what brunch was spot. It? it said rosé all day on the wall. There was Oof. a trans guy singing a melody. You were there. Salakus walked in. Two girls are, oh, my dad's here. Oh, oh. sorry. I mean, it was brutal. We were the oldest was the food people in good? there. Food stunk. We didn't even eat. We left because it was too queefy, and uh, we had to bail. Oh, my God. So we all gave Vitor shit, and then we went to a diner two him, blocks away. Him missing it is, oh, that's a great shot, too. Holy shit, look at that. Look at the Asian guy with the Give It a Goog shirt up front. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know if that's the beginning or the end. Uh, this is the end. There you go. That's epic. That's a great shot, Matt. Sally, killed Thank it. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, we, we just, got it. Should we bring our guests in here? I think he's taking a wee-wee. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Well, uh, yeah, man. Uh, that's great. I'm, I'm proud of you. Thank another, you. Another special in the can. Yeah. Got to feel the good. Feels good. I mean, now it's just a matter of building new material, bombing all day. Well, you, you, this Norman pulls a fucking move on me last night. <laughs> I got courtside Knicks tickets. I was like, Mark, come to the game with me. And Mark says, ah, I got four sets. And I said, you just taped a special, so I'm not going to push you because I understand yeah. I'm that guy too, yeah. who I can't take a night off. But you blew it. I blew it. Uh, I was on the jumbotron. I know we could have been on. That would have been a great book. We were on together. I know that that uh, jumbo killed me. I was like, damn we, it, I'm, we, I'm bombing at the cellar when you're on the jumbo. You should have come with me. I was wrecked. I was wasted at that game. Oh, look at me. Look at that. Look how cute. Little collar shirt on. Ah, oh, it's a make-a-wish. <laughs> Adorable. In my, in my Nick's throwback jacket, too. Dude, I was... Oh, yeah, you're I right. was bombed at that game with my friend Chase. We were wrecked, and... It's uh, open bar, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, forget what about mean, it. Open bar. It, there was, like, a little VIP room, and they take care of you. Yeah, I was in the elevator with Edie Falco, and I was like, don't Whoa. say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything. I just turned around, I was like, my favorite show of all time. And she goes, thank you so much. I was like... <gasps> Yeah, I, like saw, Nurse Jackie. I, I saw Troy Bond posted a bunch of pictures with her, and it just said, Mom. She rules. She's so cool. And then uh, Randall went for 57, career high. It was epic, but we lost. It was a tough ah. one. Sure, they just, all their, they, they were missing all their stars and mm. the, the T-Wolves, and they still somehow pulled it out on us. It was brutal. They couldn't miss. They were missing crazy. this star, too. I'll tell you that. I was pretty, I was pretty bummed. That, ah, you know, sorry. Well, there'll be other times, but There'll be on, other Mark. ones. You, that was the day of. I had, I was. No, I, I get wife, it, but, but, and yeah. that's why I didn't push you, because I was like, you're fucking up. Yeah, I fucked up. Because you need to you need to do the fun stuff, too, every once in a while. Well, you're right. You're right. And I'm also biased because I'm Nick obsessed. Sure. But. Yeah, well, also, I, I was so hungover on Sunday on the flight back that I had some guilt with that. Now, it's, dude, I'm dying today. I thought I was going to puke all morning. Yeah. I mean, I was like, I was doing the, the belching, you know, the, the preventative belching. Yes. What, and I was doing, like, you know, the running, trying to sweat it off. Just going. Bleh. Oh, I've been uh, there. Just I know. gin coming out of me. Yes. And I was on the flight from Chicago, and I was getting the salivation, you know, when you're about to yak. And yeah. I kept having to, like, 
My stomach was gurgling, salivating, sweating, and I kept having to move and look out the window. <laughs> and the lady next to me was like, this guy's on drugs or something. <laughs> It was bad. You ever have that happen? You ever have that happen? And there's no Wi-Fi, and you're like, I need a distraction. I need something. I was so hungover the other day. I was trying to watch Jurassic Park on a flight, and I was too hungover to pay attention to Jurassic Park. Yes. Do you know how fucking hungover you have to be to not pay attention to a blockbuster? <laughs> what do you do? You just put your head down. What do you do? How do you cope with that on a plane? It's you watch something. I watch. I need to watch like a Marvel movie. Something dumb as shit. Yeah, you're like I'm a like, Dilophosaurus. <laughs> you're gonna yak in any minute. Deep cut. Anything that's gonna take my mind off the pain I'm in. Yeah. yeah. And then a lot of coffee and a lot of water. Yeah, there was one point on the ride there. I was so hungover, I couldn't roll down the window. I couldn't do it. Hey, let's get in here, man. Get in here. No, Noel. Noel. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sorry, what's man. shaking, Thank man? Nice to meet you guys. Sorry. How's it going? Thanks for joining us. <laughs> yeah, of course. I like you guys going raw. No intro, nothing. No intro. Just, nah, nah. It's a hang. It's a hang. It's a hang. Yeah. Dig good, it. Good to have you. You're I'm, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I've been following you guys a little bit. Ah. Uh, Every, everywhere I pass through, I see you guys on... Marquees or whatever. Marquees? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. on the road you're seeing. Yeah, 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 on the road, okay. yeah. So in a weird way. This is kind of That cool. sounded grand, but he's talking about like the Toledo funny bone or something. <laughs> no, <laughs> no not at all, man. <laughs> what, was that, what was that place you did in New Orleans? Oh, the uh Joy. The Joy. Yeah. How was that? That was nice. Okay. You yeah. how hard are you on the road right now? Uh shoot. How many days have we done now? Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you're working hard when your tour manager is wiped. Yeah. <laughs> Not just the comic. Yeah, dude. Yeah, no, it's, it's been a minute. Um, How many days at a, at a time are you out? Uh, like five. Or basically, so we did the Sprinter for like three weeks. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then had a three-week break, and then we're doing the bus for the next five. And then, yeah. I'm doing the bus hard. I heard, man. man. I love it. Yeah? Do you sleep on it? Um, Yeah, I mean, I think you get used to it after a while. But th that first week, when you get the bunk cough, that's... You gotten it yet? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what we get a lot is, I mean, first off, you eliminate travel. You just wake up in a new city. Which is cool. But I do feel like every day you're like, are we all sick or is this just allergies? Yeah. And then you're like, I think it's allergies. I think I'm, but mm. then you hate to be that, I'm the stereotype Jew who I'm just like, <laughs> nasocort, where's the fucking nasocort? <laughs> nasocort, I don't even know these terms. <laughs> it's a, you, you sniff it up. Oh, you know who's really doing the bus is Jay Moore. <laughs> All right, he's fucking genie butt. But, uh, oh stretch. my god, it was a leap. That took me a second. <laughs> you know about him fucking genie butt, whatever. But he's doing the bus. Uh, yeah, yeah, the bunk cough. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's like from it's like from the little uh, air conditioner. Well, you got to turn that off, dude. You can't yeah. have the air in your face yeah, yeah. all night. Yeah, that's the mistake I made the I've first done, time. Done the bunk the jerk. Yeah, we have, you? That have we you? try to not move. Oh, you know, you're like Anne Frank in there. On the, just, on the burst? <laughs> Anne Frank. Well, you don't want to make any noise and have anybody hear you. <laughs> yeah, lying beneath the floorboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, exactly. the, uh, that's the Attell joke. Uh, bunk beds are good training for jail. What are you doing up there? Nothing. Watch your eyelids. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Watch your eyelids. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've, never, you've done the jerk. Not on the bus. Wow. Dude, bunk jerk. How many have you had? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Dude, jerking off in the little thing? Well, I mean, the shade's open. No, That's the true. shade's closed. Uh. And it's four <laughs> in the morning. You know, you wake up and you're like, I got a phone, I got a sock. Uh. <laughs> You know that's like uh, the hazing of the of the animals, just like some dude just jerking off. The co remember the the what was it the frat the the ooky cookie ooky cookie oh yeah Oof. that and the elephant walk Oof. yeah Don't limp get me started. huh that's where limp biscuit comes from really oh that's how Fred Durst was born on an ooky cookie <laughs> yeah <laughs> he comes from a cookie he came from eight frat guys <laughs> but oh damn yeah that that's the shit I, we were on a bus and our bus driver this guy Jeff is awesome he's yeah. like a character I just saw a jar of pickles by where he's driving I was kind of like I love that you just eat pickles. He's like, well, I don't want to get too dependent on coffee late night, and the acidity keeps me awake. I was that's like, crazy. Whoa. That's interesting, actually. Like, yeah. That taste, yeah, it does wake you up a little bit. That's a pro. But it's a pro, but he was telling me, I was like, who's been a lot? And he's telling me, dude, he drives bands around. Do you ever ask your guy, like, who's been well, a pain? Honestly, we no, because we've had, we've had some pretty, like, We've had character bus drivers, but in a way where we just kind of leave them alone. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you finish. I'll tell you about this one this guy. Dude, this dude is great, and he was telling me. I was like, give me a comic who is a lot. And he goes, he goes Tom Segura would – you're not supposed to poop on the bus. Oh, That's yeah. That's a rule. No. You're not supposed to poop, but he would do – I guess they're called hot bags. Yeah. And he would just say, like, hey, we left three hot bags for you. <laughs> <laughs> He's just, so you just take, like, a bag and poop in it. 
and then you're like, all right, that's it. See? Bus jerk. Better than bus poop. Way better. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. one do you feel more regretful after, though? Yeah, uh, true. Either way. Jerk. Yeah, what's your story? Oh, well, <laughs> I don't want to out him. I mean, it's a pretty common name. His name's Bill. Oh, uh, uh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mar. Yeah. Yeah. We know him. Clinton. Yeah. Yeah, Everybody yep. knows that pooping on the bus is okay. <laughs> my Kids are stupid. There is no God. Okay. <laughs> this Bill. Dude, he had like really big stature. His eyes were kind of crazy. Big Bill. Yeah, Big Bill. Yeah. Is it a, a comic? Bus driver, not a comic. Yes, bus driver. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Oh, I was like, Bill Burr. <laughs> right. Yeah, man. No, he would, um, and his diet was, he would just go into Walmart. And he'd get slabs of like beef, mm. and he'd cook them on a George Foreman. Whoa! Yeah, and he just—he was just kind of like this. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this was like slabs of human. Like, he <laughs> just kind of had this vibe yeah. to him where he's like, "I'm going to get beef." And we're like, oh, "All right, Bill." Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. Bus drivers are too comfortable. They're up there in their own world. No yeah. one's talking to them. No one's shaming them. So they get weird. The pickles, the beef. Yeah. I love it. I had a guy on Schumer's bus. He would just eat Altoids, and I was like, "Dude, how many Altoids have you had?" He would have packs of tins and he's they're like, addictive as fuck well that and you can't fall asleep on an out toy because you're yes. you're so minted up yeah so that was his trick damn yeah he smelled better than the beef and pickle groups. Yeah, yeah. remember when they just used to do meth yeah yeah those were the days i think there's still some methy oh drivers yeah out there yeah man For we, had, sure. we had another driver he just like sure like kind of look at porn while he drove hey. really yeah it was, it was like it was like soft core just like girls in bikinis but he just ah. kind of oh that's nothing that's fine <laughs> that's all right i do that too <laughs> so, like man you've been jacking off he's like look i gotta stay awake yeah <laughs> i respect that the problem is when you finish though then you start dozing that's true after you jerk uh, don't ask me how i know <laughs> i can't we we don't do that we do the some low brow shit like james uh, who you know? You guys know. Obviously, directed your special, James Webb. Shout just, out Webby. Just like shredded. He's like the dude that we we show up at the hotel at like midnight, and he's like, "I'm going to the gym," and we're like, "Now?" Nah. <laughs> he just jumps on the bench, three fifty nice. above. Wow. So he's the dude on the bus in between the bunks. He's just doing tricep dips, just, <laughs> and we're like, "All right, moving bus, just doing tricep dips." But late at night, we, we opened Veter's little curtain up, and James would just fart in there. Ah. <laughs> just a little, just a little bus camaraderie. Yeah. And Veter's used to living in a nook. I assume he lives in a tree. We have a friend who's about this tall. He's in a tree house. Yeah, he's, he's, he's making you know. cookies with his wife. <laughs> but yeah, the Man. bus just I'm so sick of flying. So the bus sounds pretty magical. The bus is, yeah. the bus is good. It, it, just the stress of travel. Yeah, it's just it's a lot. And then also like we're with a crew, so when we fly, you know I've you know James who's got so much camera gear. There's yeah. always. There's always an issue at airport yeah. security. Yep, yep, and I, I get to watch his anger problems kind of unfold. Uh, uh, yeah. Where he's like, it's a fucking camera, dude. And I'm yeah. like, shit, this guy's on Roy's. I, think. <laughs> I, don't, know. I don't know what happened. He might choke you out. You better chill out. <laughs> so yeah. you're you're doing theaters. I am, yeah, on this run. That's yeah. fun. Yeah, it's, and it's pretty cool. I think you got a biggie. What is it? Uh, Radio City? No, Town Hall. Town, Town Hall. Hall, sorry. Yeah. The other one. Yeah. Have Town you ever Hall. done Town Hall? Not Town Hall, no. It's Ooh. beautiful. Is it? It's one of the best venues, I think, oh, yeah. Sick. in in the country. Hell yeah. It's so classic. Yeah? They do the Patrice O'Neill benefit there every year. Damn. Uh, and it's like- it's coming up on the 4th. Is it? Is it there April 4th? Dang. Um, it's it's. Don't you think it's one of the best rooms? Beautiful, old, historic, pretty. It's like tight in there. It's small. It's right in Midtown. You're gonna love it. It yeah. feels like it's 300 people, but it's, right. What is it like 1500 or 2000? It's yeah. Big. Yeah. Look at that. It's like epic, man. Yeah. No, I'm I'm stoked. I haven't performed here in like three years, maybe. So oh, nice. to come back and to have the room be so big is pretty crazy. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. So you you made it big uh what on the internet. Yeah. With sketches and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, it's it's funny cuz I was doing stand up before and mm. I I like really resisted the internet, but I kind of like gave in at some point and thought there's no way, especially in LA, like you just you can't get time. Right. So I thought like all right, if I can make stupid little sketches Maybe this will, you know, I could like con some promoter into like giving me ten minutes instead yeah. of seven or some shit. Well, it's status, you know. Look yeah. at these follow, look at all these views, and they yeah. go, oh, "Okay, this guy's something." Yeah. So um, then, like, the internet stuff kind of like really ramped up out of nowhere. Um, 
just by way of working with my podcast co-host Cody. Mm. Cody, and, yeah. <laughs> and the uh, pod is huge, right? Yeah, we've uh, we, we've been fortunate to do pretty. Did well you have for Mr. Beast now. on? Yeah, yeah, we did. Wow. How was that? <laughs> it's pretty great. I, I'm. I made him put on a Gucci suit, and then like I, I was kind of joking. I'm like, "Hey, you hate poor people, right?" And uh, <laughs> he's got a lot of young fans, and they thought it was like serious, oh, so they got geez. really mad at him. And, young people, man. yeah, the worst. Yeah, they're making little TikToks like <laughs> the truth about Mr. Beast. Ah, wow, and he's like, I, I hate beliefs. poor people. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> and then he cured blindness, and they all turn. I don't get the beef. He's helping. He made a thousand people see. Yeah, yeah but that's but people. Honestly, the people getting mad about it is probably helping him because it's just more eyeballs. I guess right? eyeballs. I, yeah, hey. yeah, I guess, but it's still weird. Like the, like I don't know. Well, we'll get into that later. But <laughs> he seems like a great guy. He's a tall, honky. Yeah, yeah, he is. Is he yeah. six six or something? He, I, I would say like six four or something. Like yeah. six three. He's he's big. Big guy. <laughs> yeah. How did he get so big? Um, the that size or no yeah. on, oh. on YouTube? I think he ate well. <laughs> <laughs> but he just but like how did how did he blow up? Because I don't know. I see his name everywhere, but I don't really know much about him. He started on YouTube by doing these really kind of absurd videos where he would just film himself and he'd say, "I'm going to count to a million, mm. you know," and then the next one would be like, "I'm going to count to two million, and then you know, or I'll I'll watch this video for 24 hours straight, and the video will be 24 hours long, and oh, he'd actually wow. do it." What's pretty crazy is all those videos he said no one ever watched past one minute. Interesting. So he could have literally did anything after the first five. Wow. But hey, like look at these it. views on the two day video, fifty million. Yeah. Wow. Last month, one hundred and twenty five million. Unreal. Well, oh, take that, God. Oscars. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude, right? Honestly, <laughs> it's hilarious. The Oscars is like thirteen million views or something. Yeah. yeah. They should just get Rogan to host the Oscars. Uh, or <laughs> that, Mr. Right? Beast. Yeah. yeah, really. Totally. Yeah. Always put this Oscar up my ass. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta wait till the end. I put 50 Oscars in my ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna count how many people actually saw one of these Best Picture nominees. <laughs> no one. <laughs> That'd be a right quick here? video. What, oh, what, thank what, you, sir. What are we oh, drinking dude. here? This looks beautifully garnished. Yeah. Uh, we got a watermelon gin fizz. Yes. I, I heard you like watermelon and gin. Yeah, I was so. trying to bring you guys a bottle of, you heard of Empress 1908? It's like mm -hmm. a, it's a purple gin. So it's kind of it's like this, you know, it's kind of corny, but it's got a cool like effect when you pour it in with the watermelon juice. It like, like it changes color. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, to look at. Yeah. All right. I'm using yeah. um, Misguided today. That's fine. These guys are from Brooklyn. They're a friend of the bar, Joey Roses. They, uh, they're Lower East Side based, like. Most of their bars are down there that they distribute to. So now that's a summer Damn. drink right there. I love. I'm getting into the different color. I've been using a, a vermouth that's lighter, a sweet mm. vermouth that's, and I drink a lot of Negronis and Manhattans at home. Yeah, and it just looks a little off the color, but it tastes so fucking good if you yeah. get a really good uh, vermouth. You know? Yeah. 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 This is great. This is very good. I mean, yeah. that is a top notch. Drink. Jesus. Yeah. That's fresh as hell. <laughs> yeah, dude. It tastes like water. It's like, it's like summertime. Yeah. It goes down easy. Uh, you got a busy day tonight or a busy night? No, no, I'm just chilling, and then we got Portland, Maine tomorrow. So. Oh, great, dude. Yeah, yeah. Get, get a lobster roll. Yeah, dude. That's a fun town. Yeah. That's a really nice town. Yeah, I've been there once. Um, I'm allergic as hell to fish, so I can't. What? what? I know, it sucks. Damn, know. all fish? Yeah. You can't oh. have any fish? Pretty much. Shrimp? Whoa. No. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Pussy? Yeah. All right. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Holy hell. Damn. Yeah, that's what my mom used to say. <laughs> so you, have you been like have you done like a, a challenge i think they call it a test or whatever yeah, yeah i've done one of those and and, and you, what do they just jam an yeah. epi pen in you after you they react? take like they take like a panel of like 15 needles and they just like prick it on your back wait this is a mr beast video wait, yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> yeah i put 30 needles in yeah. my arm which one of them it got me high <laughs> not and uh yeah it came back like all seafood would just fuck me wow. up yeah. yeah damn that's crazy well, what's crazier is when i was younger because my mom ate a lot of fish, like, just naturally because of her culture. So she didn't believe me. So she used to feed me fish. <laughs> I'd just be sitting there. She's probably building, building immunity, honestly. Yeah, yeah. But I sit there, and, like, my throat is, like, getting kind of tight. And I'm like, I can't eat it. And she's oh. like, keep going. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Actually. Wow. He out -Jewed you. That this is, is pretty, crazy. Yeah. yeah. I eat crustaceans. And, and lox and salmon. Well, yeah. Oh, my God. A Jew that can't eat salmon would be Woo. torture. White yeah. fish, gefilte fish. Oof. Big yeah. fish culture. Yeah. We're a big fish, big fish culture. Wait, what's Jeez. mom? What's mom's culture? It's a, it's a fun bit. I've never said like publicly. Oh, really? Oh, you won't say. Yeah. Wow. Exclusive. So you're playing every Smart. angle here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart. Could, could yeah, be man. anything. Could be anything. That's yeah. good because you're kind of ambiguous racially. Yeah. Yeah. So you could be half black, half Samoan, half 
Asian, half Latino. That's too many. Half. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could be all of them, you know? I could be a quarter of everything. You don't know? I'm going but with it's not a... Asian because you didn't call him out on his math. Uh, ah, that was, wow. point. that was fucking racist, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was despicable. You take that hate elsewhere, okay? <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, I'm going. I think it's something Latino based. Well, now he's not going to tell us anyway. No, I don't know. He's not going to tell us, but well, he got watermelon. All right, but... <laughs> <laughs> that gets a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that was more subtle. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a dumb question, and feel free to kick me in the balls here. This sure. is where I get weird. I'd love yeah. to. Okay. <laughs> it's weird that you can be gender fluid, but you can't be racially fluid. Is because it? you. Rachel Dolezal? Yeah. Well, but you literally can be three, four different races. You could. So can't. Isn't that more. Make more sense to be racially fluid? I wonder if we'll get to a point with 23andMe where they can tell you what gender you are. Like if you were born the wrong gender. Uh, I doubt it. I think maybe they can tell taste buds, dude. Can they? Like, yeah. I've never done construct. it. If it's here. Uh -huh. Aha. You know, if it's in your head, it's not in your on your body. Yeah. Yeah, the chromosomes and the biology is still the same. Hmm. So, yeah, it's all it's up here. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I like Mine racially told... fluid, dude. All right, I got something there. Yeah, but you yeah. are racially fluid. Yeah. I think so. I, yeah. I think I qualify a little bit. You yeah, are ambiguous definitely. as fuck, for yeah. sure. I can't, I can't put my finger on it. I like it because everyone in New York wants to be racist, and it's like, it's like just trying to compute. Yes. What are you? Yes, exactly. Where are you from originally? Uh, I was actually born in Toronto. but oh, then, ooh, That doesn't help this either. This is not helping. Most, no, na <laughs> most nationalities of any city. Yeah. 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 And Canadians, a whole wrench in the, in the racist game. Yeah. Toronto, though, that is East Coast. Mm -hmm. True, but very diverse city. I'm thinking it's a mix. Yeah. But with what? I'll have no idea. <laughs> but hey, we don't care anyway. I don't see race <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, good for you. Yeah, man. I think gender fluid would bail a lot of, you know, streamers out when they get caught saying the N-word. They're like, oh, <laughs> sorry I identified differently that day. Oh, you mean racial fluid? Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I, I, Rachel Dolezal all got just destroyed. No, yeah, no. We've she talked did. about her a lot on this pod. Yeah. She really reached... Did you buy her OnlyFans? No, I didn't. <laughs> you didn't know? You didn't know that? No. She's oh, got, yeah. We just, I mean, I think we just found that out like a week ago. But she's. <laughs> what does she do on it? Feet. <laughs> Only? Women? <laughs> no, I think she's more than feet. I thought it was more than feet. Women, women can make a lot of money on feet. Dudes love feet. Yeah, man. I don't get it. I think specific dudes love feet. So it's like a very small minority of guys love it, and they'll pay anything for it. Which minority? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Yeah, which one? <laughs> Fluid. 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 Shouldn't it just be free is the apology for, like, it's my only fans it's up for free? Like, oh, yeah. sorry. Like, it's well, free for the black community. Uh, is she yeah. donating it, it all to the NAACP? That would help. Mm. Well, I don't know. What's she do for work now? And maybe it's just OnlyFans. Maybe it's OnlyFans. Yeah. It's funny. It's like OnlyFans and Cameo. It's like a weird crossover. Yeah. It's like, it's like OnlyFans is really Cameo for people. I mean, Horny. you see, you can see some celebs on there, I guess. Yeah. I wonder cameo. If he, for, we need to get some cameos, some weird ones to, for We Might Be You can get some interesting people oh, on yeah. Cameo. That's crazy ones. Alec Baldwin, let's give He's it a not shot. Doing it. No, no. <laughs> you say give it a shot. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. I wonder if Rachel Dolezal's only fan takes uh, the black Amex. <laughs> All right. There's your feet. Well, you're giving it away for free, Dolly. Get well, I'm hell. sure someone, you, can't you screenshot it? Oh, yeah. You good could. point. It's about support, you know? Damn, there she is. She fooled a lot of people. She fooled black people for a while. Did she? Yeah, she was in the NAACP in uh, Seattle. Which no, she headed the headed. NAACP. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> I think Ooh. in like, I don't know, 50 years, race, you will be allowed to transition racially. And then we're going to go, she was like Rosa Parks. Everybody turned on her. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about years, that. I don't know. <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> it's coming. If you would have said this about gender 50 years ago, people would go, oh, shut up. She was so. like the first to do it. That girl, Bad Baby, that rapper, she did it too. I don't like, know Bad the, Baby. The, the Cash Me Outside girl. Oh, her! Yeah, she just posted some pictures where she looked like she was black fishing or Pull them up. And... She's kind of hot. <laughs> she I don't made a million dollars like. on OnlyFans the first day. Yeah. What? what? First yeah. when she turned 18. Yeah. That's pretty fucking creepy. Yeah. It's weird to have a countdown. Yeah. It's yeah. weird that there were people waiting. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, well, I mean, the fact that there's like a grand opening for your consent age. Yeah. It's kind of fucking dark. I bet Leo's got a couple of those running. Like, you know, people like those clocks that say like Mexico, oh New York, Italy, Milan. He's probably got one with like eight different women. He's got a talent scout the way the NBA has. He's like, see what you can find coming out of high school. Yes, like, yes. God, Get her an SUV. <laughs> All right. Wow. Is that her? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> How old is she? A kind of a teenager. <laughs> no, she's 20 something. Yeah. Yeah. So have you ever had a guy go, hey, you fucking slur, and yeah. you're like, that's the wrong one? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome. Do you correct them? No, no, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But don't you think it would make them more mad if you were like, actually? You try again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like it's a game. Yeah. yeah. You're just running through. Yeah. Racial Jeopardy. I yeah. like it. <laughs> the Daily Double. Yeah. I get those DMs all the time. I just laugh. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Close. Really? What, what's your favorite food to eat? No. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, water. <laughs> you a big water guy? Yeah, big water guy. Water's I think great. this is genius. I'm going to do this with gay. Yeah? People are like, are you gay? I'm like, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all over the place. <laughs> this is genius. I love Thanks, this. Because it's all so stupid. We put too much emphasis on race and all this shit anyway. So yeah. this is great. Just Thanks. do you. Yeah. Be Noel. That's yeah. it. That's yeah. my race. Thanks, man. Blow me. <laughs> That's what I tell my team all the time. Yeah. <laughs> fucking blow me, dude. That's a weird race. Blow me? Just a race of people like, just suck my dick, dude. Yeah. 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 By the way, I think I know what it is. Just Do you? Really? Yeah. Make a guess. If I get it, will you say what it, I'll say, right? I don't know. He can't okay. say it. Okay, so half uh, Puerto Rican. Mm. And that was when my mind went to the East Coast. Filipino. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Filipino. Because... Uh, your first name is a Hispanic name, yeah, mm. but that's also could be Filipino. Mm. Oh, I thought it was a French name. Filipino is where you get some ambiguity too. And he said his mom loved to cook fish; and it's part of her culture. That's part of their culture. Oh shit! Well, don't blow up his whole thing here. <laughs> no, that's fine. All right, all right. A Puerto Rican. A Puerto Rican. We could be. It's like you could Sia. be right. You know, Sia, the singer. Yeah. She won't show her face. Yeah. This is your Sia won't thing. Show my race, dude. I love it. I'm, yeah. I'm just waiting she for the show big... her face. No. no, no one knows what she looks like. They, they know, but like oh, in all her know. media, she doesn't intentionally show it. Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought it was all a big secret. Well, well how about like the good. Gorillas? That band. Oh yeah, yeah. another yeah. one. They were they were fucking. Don't they have new shit out too? They were cool. They do. Man. They were good. I listened to their new album. Is it's it pretty good? good? Yeah, it's fun. What kind oh, of music do you okay. listen to? You like rock. Uh, <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I, I try to like listen to a lot, but primarily a lot of rap. Do you like the Buena Vista Social Club? What? Is that <laughs> Cuban? Thinking... We ruled out Cuban. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. I was, just, I was like, is that a car club? Like, what is that, dude? Damn. Yeah, nah. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, you were gonna say something. Oh yeah, no, I'm just waiting for like 23 and Me to try to cut me a huge sponsor. Oh, to admit. Oh yes, that would be smart. Yeah, I I think it's pretty cool. Would you ever do it? Maybe. It's pre- I think it's kind of cool to just know, even though I mean, although they're gonna they're using it for evil already. Yeah, there's gonna be a clone. Def- well, it's such horseshit because we all go race doesn't matter. We're all equal. Then we're like, I wonder what I am. Yeah. Why do we need to know so bad if it doesn't matter if we're all the same or whatever the hell? Because yeah. we're not all the same. Because they tell you more than just your background. It's kind of interesting. Well, race and culture is interesting. It is interesting. We have differences, and you know, it's fun. I think we just get annoyed when it's someone's entire personality. Yeah, because yeah. because those are the people when they then they find out that they weren't <laughs> even that, and you're like, well, you based your whole identity on a lie. Yeah, so exactly. Th- those are the people that I think bug us a little bit. Mencia, mm-hmm. Mencia, mm-hmm. Ned Holness, right? Mm-hmm. That's his name. Yeah, he's yeah. not even Mexican. Damn. Well, now we're doing that with uh, disorders. Like, I'm autistic. I'm uh, <laughs> depressed, or whatever. Or I have uh, this and that, and you're like. Notice you never pick one that makes you look bad. Yeah. You know, it's never like, I'm a narcissist. I have irritable bowel syndrome. Yeah. Why are you posting about that? I'm a sociopath. <laughs> you know, it's always like the victim ones. You're right. It's never like, oh, I'm sorry, I have narcissistic personality disorder. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Never. Never. No, never. it's like I was, uh, I'm abused or I'm depressed. It's always something where you're like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's never like, I'm a serial killer. I was whatever. a bully. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm a bully. That is a good yeah. to make a victim. I'm. I have a problem. I'm a serial killer. It's like, well, it sounds like they're the victims. Yeah. 
I'm a victim too. Yeah. yeah man. You think busy. I want to kill people? Right. Choose this it's way. awful. I was born this way. I'm just laughing at IBS being your thing. Just, <laughs> just posting your diarrhea like, oh, uh, <laughs> it came we're too quick. We're doing a march very close to a bathroom. Yeah. Right. <laughs> There's a girl that works at the bar who said every guy she's ever dated has had IBS. And I told her, I think they're just trying to hide from you in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Well, that is the thing. I like, you know, uh, look, there, there is that point in the relationship where you're like, you know, because you want to eat fun foods together, but what, you can do pizza early on, you do like, I mean, Indian early on is a fucking... That's love, dude. That's, that's love. It's, it's a roll of dice, like though, you. too. Yeah. Totally. That's what I like about my lady. She's got crazy lactose, and then I, I show up with a piece of pizza, she's like, bring it on. And I'm like, really? what about the, the bathroom? She's like, I'll deal with that then. Sounds She's like, living. Sounds like you're dealing with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with it. She's, but she's the one just destroying the bowl. Damn. <laughs> but she's like, I'll let's do it. It's like a guy who drinks. You're like, I'm gonna be hungover. I got a big day tomorrow, but bring on the booze. I'm, I'm sure she really appreciates you sharing all yeah, this. Yeah. Oh, she's a big shit bag. <laughs> That's uh, that is cool though. I, I I've dated someone like that too who had uh, stomach issues. I won't say who in my story, but. Uh, she had big stomach issues and same shit. She would eat the pizza and I was like, that's what you want. She can rally. Damn. But I've had the people too where you, you ever date a vegan and they're, and they're like, this is pretty good pizza and you're like, just have one real fucking slice with I me know. and then tell me that's real pizza. Exactly. I'll eat the vegan with you like, you know, to be a, you know, to be supportive every once yeah. in a while but like, Let's be real. Would you She's ever convince any of them? She's not supporting you, bro. Yeah. What? She's not supporting you. Ah. That's a good point. It's probably with the vegans. You got to cater to them. They never. They rarely come the other way. But yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? No, I was going to say, would you ever get them to cave? Just like eat a little cheese. Would they give yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. They would, and they would cave usually because mm. cheese, real cheese, dude. You yeah. Can't. Would they That's admit? The, thing. I, I, the harder thing for me about being vegan would not even, would be the, would honestly be like the cheese and the eggs. Yeah. I eat, totally. I eat eggs and cheese like every day. Yeah. Love eggs. I, I mean, meat, it's not like I could give it up easily, but like. That would be easier for me to give up than Def. than the other stuff. Isn't oral not vegan? <laughs> I'm just saying it's all animal product. But you're not eating it, I guess. You I slang, you it. say you eat it. You but swallow saliva, jizz. But if you swallow, but if you well, Anthony Hopkins in Silence of the Lambs, that's not vegan. Right, right, okay. <laughs> but, if you're just, but if you're just licking, okay. So she could, by that logic, she could lick she a pork some pizza. Chop. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. I like have a point. Dude. What? What about multiple MIGs? The guy in the cell next to her. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only guy in history who knows that guy's name. <laughs> that movie still rocks. So oh, it's yeah. It was on cable recently, and holy shit, the last few scenes. Are you a big movie guy? Uh, in a way, but I'm just still picturing the jizz coming out of your hand right there. <laughs> Dude, we, I was walking Make over here. They have a Dungeons and Dragons movie coming out. Uh, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, Damn. Yeah, when, how, when's, when, yeah, when's Solitaire the movie coming out? <laughs> Who gives a shit? Minesweeper. <laughs> wow, Dungeons it, and Dragons. They're really, they're really running out of shit. You didn't play? You didn't play growing up? No, I didn't. Mm. You did? No, 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 no. Oh, Damn, Damn it. he's definitely not black. <laughs> 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 We're narrowing it down. <laughs> All right. I didn't. My brother played. He was a big goth queef, you know. Yeah. Black makeup. What? Uh, oh yeah. I could kind of see your brother being into that. I know a lot of people that play now, though. We're now. Yes. Oh yeah, it's no. Like, it's kind of like a. It's like a resurgence. That's true. Yeah. But watch out for those guys. Yeah. I know a dude who he'll like play over Zoom. Like he'll be oh. on a long drive, just taking a call. Yeah, and like, is it you? No, no, hell no. Should no. long drive. <laughs> nah. That's Damn. how your bus driver stays awake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, so, I just don't get it because like my uh, my brother would play with like eighty <laughs> nerds. You know, they'd be in a warehouse just playing this shit at eight in the morning and all that. And I was like, this is. I had to go because I was I was the younger brother, so my mom didn't want to watch. She's like, go with him. So I'd just be sitting there like this, and I'm like, we have video games. Yeah. They would literally draw a card and be like, hit point. You'd lose a hit point, and yeah. then they're like, "Oh, okay, one hit point down." And you're like, "We got, we got uh, Tetris, we got Call of Duty, we got <laughs> Zelda, we got Mario. What are we doing with this they're shit?" Doing, they have a Mario movie coming out now too. Yeah, it actually looks kind of cool. The Where trailer. Are, you one? are you kidding me? Yeah, Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. Is it? Uh, Chris, Chris Pratt is Mario. Yeah, yeah, I don't see Chris Pratt as Mario though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I bet they get an Italian out. actor. Get a but, but I saw really... the I saw the trailer and this it's like a slow version of the score where I was like, this is like fucking incredible. Looking. Pull it up. Yeah, visually, I feel like yeah. they should have gotten Sebastian to do Mario's. Oh. Yes, yeah, Sebastian as Mario. What's with all these coins everywhere? I mean, I could see it sucking too, but it looks kind of cool. 
It looks great. That's pretty, yeah. I remember when that game came out on N64. That was like the craziest shit ever. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to start on Mario Kart. Uh, Mario Kart is maybe like the best community game. Yes. Yeah. Easily. That and GoldenEye. Yeah. GoldenEye was good too. But Mario, something about Mario Kart that was like, it still had the violence. Yeah. You were racing. I mean, it was pretty great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like that's the one that anyone's willing to pick up. Yes. I feel like any other game, you kind of have to convince people, but Mario Kart people, they're like, yeah. What player did you go with? Toad. Toad? Yeah. I was a Yoshi guy. Interesting. Mm. Who was your guy? You? I was the girl. Peach. 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 Yeah. Nice. Bowser. Bowser. Ah. He's heavy and fast. Yeah. Always. I, I like the Remember fastest. they had battle mode, too? It was yeah. fucking... That game was incredible. Incredible. Yeah. N64 really fucked shit up. I mean, like, that wrestling game, No Mercy, was like... Oh, bro. We used, we used wow. to all play that shit. Dan that. Soder and I used to play that constantly. <laughs> it's Me, Soder, game. Anthony DeVito, mm -hmm. Greg Stone. We had creative character. We created our own characters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was great. Which, if you, if you want to wreck anything based off a video game, The Last of Us. That's my wreck. Is it? Oh, oh is it? Yeah. <clears throat> I played, I played the game. It's the closest to, and it's... They didn't like. I heard them. I mean, it's the so show good. is pretty good. That's, it's what good. that's what I'm talking Show's about. Show's solid, it's dude. Really you know good. what? I got a good wreck for you, and it's from our boy H Foley, who was on the Are You Garbage app, who wrecked it on the app, and I watched it because of Foley. The movie Dinner Rush. It's on Amazon. Dinner Rush. Danny Aiello. It's fucking good. Really? It starts like kind of weird. Where you're like, where's this going? Mm -hmm. That's a good movie, man. Good little indie movie I'll from like 20 out. years ago. I wrecked it to Colin Quinn the other night, so I'm I'm awaiting a text, <laughs> fuck you, or or I liked it. He's yeah. very passionate with his responses. Well, off your wreck, I watched awesome. Megan. What do you think? I thought it was fun. Bro, but, Megan was awesome. Ronnie yeah. Chang yeah. fucking kills Ronnie it. Ronnie Chang was awesome. I liked it. I mean, it's campy, but it, it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's a yeah. fucking doll killing people. Yeah, it's I like, liked it. It's basically Chucky. It's girl Chucky. Yeah, it's girl Chucky. Exactly. It but it was kind of more fun than Chucky. Definitely, I yeah. A little yeah. smarter. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, I like Megan a lot. What's, what's another movie you've seen recently? Hey, hey, folks, we might be drunk, brought to you by Manscaped. You know, we got to trim those pubes. You've heard all about it. It's hot girl summer. But what about hot men? Get ready for hot guy summer and level up with Manscaped. Manscaped is dedicated to upping your confidence by giving you all the tools you need to be well-groomed. I got a couple razors at home. I throw one in the suitcase, one in the bathroom. One at my uh, bedside in case I'm about to get spiffy next to the lady. The Performance Package 2.0 is a lifesaver. It includes the Essential Lawnmower 4.0, which is a waterproof cordless body hair trimmer. The Weed Whacker 2.0, perfect for grooming those ear and nose hairs and some extra goodies for those crown jewels. Refresh your balls with Crop Reviver Ball Toner and the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. While you're at it, deal with those toenails, too, with the Shears 2.0 Nail Kit to round out your grooming collectione. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code DRUNK at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code DRUNK, D-R-U-N-K, at manscaped.com. Trim your chesticles with the besticles. Thank you. If you're planning on a summer trip, let me put you on my go-to travel hack. It's called Babbel, the language learning app that has sold over 10 million subscriptions. In just 10 minutes a day, you can learn a whole new language and not look like an idiot on that fancy trip to a foreign country. Easy, fun, Babbel's expert, expertly crafted lessons are based on real life scenarios, so you'll be learning vocabulary you'll actually use, not that biblioteca shit. Created by over 150 language experts, you're in great hands when you choose to learn a new language with Babbel. No matter what your learning style is, Babbel has something that will work for you. In addition to lessons, you can even access podcasts, games, stories, live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash drunk. That's babbel.com slash drunk for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Well, I love All Quiet on the Western Front, but that's a little heavy. I gotta heavy. watch that. Yeah, I like that too. You liked it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I thought it was the best movie in 10 years. What? It's Whoa. incredible. 10 years? It's incredible. Well, what's what's a good movie in 10 years? Well, 1918 was a pretty good, or 1907. What, what I think it blows that out of the water. Yeah, blows really? that out of the water too. Blows Dunkirk out of the oh, water? Oh, yeah. Dunkirk, beautiful and well done and all that, but this is a better <laughs> what's, story, what's a better great message. Movie 10 years, in the last 10 years. 
I mean, pa- Parasite was good. Oh, was Parasite great, was good. Yeah. All right. Parasite was amazing. Not as good as Parasite. I'll give you that. Parasite was fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I loved Parasite. That was awesome. That was good. Okay. But this is, might be a better movie. That Whiplash was Whiplash was fucking cool. I love Whiplash. Damien Cazell. Cazell. Yeah, something like that. I, um, oh, I got an, you know what I rewatch? Again, I've watched this movie a hundred times. I've wrecked on the pod before, but it's one of the best movies ever, and Salamanca will have my back on this one. Original Taken of Pelham 1, 2, 3. Watched oh, it like a week ago. I didn't watch it. At He's my house. seen that movie 2,000 you, times. You're the one who told me to watch it. Oh, what's that? You're the one who originally told me to watch yeah, it. Yeah, I fucking love that movie. What movie is it? It's the Walter Matthau, Jerry Stiller, uh, Robert Shaw taking a, a Pelham 1, 2, 3. Every, it's a hijacking of a New York City subway. Every character is a piece of shit in it. Got mm-hmm. it. <laughs> it's why it's so funny. Like it's, it's just a hijacking, and they're like people. There's a gun to their head, and everyone's like, ugh. <laughs> yeah. Like they're so not even worried. Thing. They're just annoyed yeah. that they're <laughs> <laughs> they're annoyed. It's a classic New York thing where they're annoyed the train is running slow. Yeah. Uh, it's great. <laughs> or desperate, heavily. It's an awesome man. movie. So seventies. Oh, and that guy Martin Balsam, who's in everything, dude. Yeah. Who's in like Twelve Angry Men? He's in uh, All the President's no, Men. He's in every it. movie. Anybody that guy. Get shot. <laughs> They're laughing at him. <laughs> I do hope I have made myself. It's understood. bad fucking ass. It's like, you know what? It's it's like the forgotten one of that era where everyone talks about like Dog Day Afternoon or Friends right. Connection. Yeah. But this is on that level, dude. Now, yeah, what? Like Warriors or something like that. How's the remake? Lore. I heard the remake sucked. I heard the same. Travolta in it? it? Yeah. And Denzel, I believe. Denzel's awesome, but I, I love like, Denzel. I feel like even today you can't do that. If somebody was like, "Your attention, please," nobody would look up. They don't yeah. have their, their AirPods phones, and they just get man. shot. Yeah. Exactly. I like what you said on Rogan about no one makes a movie with everyone looking at their phones. No, it never happens. Yeah. That should be a whole movie. Just yeah. a guy doing this. Yeah. That's two hours gone. TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> you know? like, seen this new Noel Miller video? Yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> now you have a drunk cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like fake. We. We wear like these DUI goggles. Uh-huh. Yeah, they simulate being drunk. It's actually oh, worse than being drunk, honestly. Really? Yeah. We got to try that. Yeah. Why is it worse than being drunk? Because it's not like, like drunk, I feel, is kind of like a feeling, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and these goggles, it's just. It's all visual. Yeah, it just warps your vision like crazy. Um, nah, that's no fun. Yeah. I you, want the feeling. Is yeah, gin yeah. your drink of choice usually? These days, yeah. Why is that? Um, I don't know. I just, out of everything. I, I typically just drink gin and tonics now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, low uh, low weight or yeah. low sugar. I discovered no, tonics, tonics got sugar. Oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah. I discovered drinking pretty late though. Like the first tour, me and Tom and I did. I was drinking fucking Long Island iced tea. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's a fucking party foul, yeah, right there. Dude. Yeah. yeah, dude. Well, how old are you? Thirty-three. Ah, oh, come yeah. on, dude! I remember doing Myrtle Beach and every table. It was trays of Long Island yeah. iced teas. And yeah. would you believe it? They interrupted every fucking joke. <laughs> yeah. No way. Really? All. I mean, that's like. <laughs> I remember drinking those as a kid, and that's the one when like your mom, my, your mom is like, "What have you done?" I remember yeah. puking like my guts oh, out. Oh yeah. And my mom would bring me a cup of tea. Apparently she didn't really drink. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? You know what I'm craving right now? Lipton. Yeah. Thanks, mom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, more lemon. Puking dude. my guts out. <laughs> you ever seen someone make a Long Island? It's like yeah. liquor, 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 and then Coke. Yeah, just a, just a, <laughs> just a little. Bit. It's what Mormons Coke. drink when they finally leave the church. It's yeah. like, right. It's like that or an AMF. You know, yeah. the blue, AMF. the adios motherfucker. It's just a Long Island with blue curacao and Sprite instead of oh, sour mix. Oh, somehow got trashier. It's, yeah. yeah. So anytime you see that blue drink go across the room, no, it's going to a garbage <laughs> table. But you know, yeah. that's like, but that's like the, you, that makes sense. It's a Mormon though because you're not drinking your whole life, and then you just want to get fucking ripped. Uh-huh. That's the bad thing about not drinking until you're older. You don't know how to drink. Yeah. Yep. That's why I like them though, because I just get the buzz like straight away. Right. Right. So I'm just getting it done. I mean, that's more than a buzzer. That's five shots. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, oh, yeah. It, was, it was bad. What you have is... two of those. You've had ten shots. Yeah. And everybody says, don't mix alcohol. And you're like, that's just like, fuck you. Yeah. We're mixing, <laughs> bitch, in one cup. Yeah, dude. That uh, drink is like New York City. A lot of mixing <laughs> and a lot of insanity. Yeah. And it doesn't end well. Yeah. <laughs> it ends I, in barfing, yeah. 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 I, we used to drink a thing. This might be a New Orleans only thing. It was called 1-800-FUCK-ME-UPS. <laughs> it cut right to the chase. Did you guys have those? Is that like it a was hurricane? Pink. Uh, I don't know what it was like a pink lemonade. You'd see them dumping that Country Time uh, mix in the oh in the top God, of the igloo dude. cooler, and then that they would get a, horrible. Man. Yeah, get like a paddle. But and those mix are fun it up. to get rid. My friend, we used to do like Franzia uh, sangria, oh! sangria with Franzia. It tasted great, but holy shit, 
you're dead. Yeah. Franzia. But that's young people shit. You know what else I used to love doing when we were young is, and you can't do this shit as an adult, Tabasco and a tequila shot. A little touch, mm. it, it tastes pretty fucking good, but holy shit. Never heard of that. Oh my God, no. imagine what it would do to your butthole these days, Woo! though. <laughs> I mean, that's just like violence. I see people do that with Jack Daniels a lot, too. Really? Jack and Tabasco? What's the, uh, what's the upside? The flavor, or it goes down easy? Huh. Is that... I do like the burn. I've noticed Who, that. Like... Who's ordering that? I, yeah. It's usually some guy, it's like early in the morning. Like or... a sailor. Oh, yeah. wake, it's a wake up. Or, or yeah. So oh. wake up. Or like, like uh, when somebody. I don't has, know. has he heard of coffee? Yeah, yeah right. more of a More of like a fuck you shot when somebody's like 21. They're like, surprise me. I'll give them what's called a 252. And that's wild turkey with 151. <laughs> so it's just like, it'll just strip the lining off your oh. yes, It just burns all I the went way. to the bartender. I said, surprise me. He showed me a naked picture of my wife. Yeah. <laughs> I said, who said you could sleep with my wife? He said, everybody. Uh, <laughs> 252. That's what my ex weighed. <laughs> That, that will mess you up, man. I I think all those shots that like when you're young you just get away with, but uh, damn, that would hurt. How many yeah. shots do you think you put down now? Not Woo! a lot. My, shots always yeah. the death of me. The, it's over. I'm, I also I like to enjoy the buzz now. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to just. Get, I got ripped last night, but I think I was at a Knicks game, so I didn't. I didn't know till it was too late. Yeah, you don't realize till it's the fourth quarter, and I'm like, am I the only one yelling in my section? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. I don't. People always bring you shots, like all the club, time. Like, here's a shot. Do a shot with me. All the time. What do you do? I, sometimes I do it. Sometimes I'm like, ah, I'm not doing it right now. Yeah. Or I go, give me the water. So it looks like I'm doing tequila all uh, night, but it's water. Nice. No, I I usually if if it's like celebrate if there's a crazy vibe in the air, I'll do a shot, but. I don't. I'm more of a sipper than a shooter. I think. Yeah. You, I think once you hit your 30s, you really are a sipper. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I used to be like that when I would drink. I don't drink much, but when I would, when I was younger, I would just want to get it done. So I'd do like seven to eight shots. And wow. Yeah, I don't weigh much, so yeah. I just get, and then I'm like, all right, I'm good. Yeah. But now, <laughs> good for the night. Yeah. yeah do yeah, they yeah. serve alcohol to the end of the game? Uh, I, for Sam, I, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I was in that like little area, so I kept. I would just get a drink like this big and bring it to my seat. So I was like, good. I was. It was like old gin. I was like, wait. I just remember <laughs> jazz games. They cut everybody off in the third quarter. They cut uh, everyone off in the first quarter. They're like, it's Utah. No one can drink. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Damn. I guess too rowdy. I jazz guess. games seem fun. I always wanted to go to a jazz game. I'm I'm going to the Miami Heat Knicks tomorrow. I mean, we're taping this in advance, but I'm in Miami. I'm kind of pumped. Damn. Whoa, you're gonna be in Miami tomorrow? I will be. And make the game. Um, we're landing tomorrow at like two, and the game's at seven thirty. And we there have a show go. the next night. We're getting there a night early. Ooh, I'm friends. With, I'm friends with one of the Miami Heat players, and he gave me tickets. Here's the question: Am I a dick if I wear oh, a Knicks flex. jersey? Oh. You have to tell us who the player is. Duncan Robinson. Whoa. I've done his podcast. Oh, dr. He, he he's a great guy. One of the best shooters in the world, and he's given us tickets. Is it a dick move if I roll in my Julius Randle jersey? That is the question. Probably. <laughs> really? Is it the owner's box? Is it? Are you? I don't know. I think it's fine. There'll be other Knicks people in the room. I would go hat. No, nah, the can't. jersey feels like a like a statement. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll offset it with. I'll wear a Hawaiian huh? shirt over it, ah, okay, so it's open. Fine. So that that way I look Miami-ish, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Knicks. Well, don't get hammered because then you're the hammered guy in the Knicks. Outfit. And he's got the Hawaiian shirt like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also. Pretty cool to have Dunk in your name. I know. That's pretty good for an <laughs> NBA player. Tim Duncan. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, it's yeah. like being called Shooter McGavin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy fucking ruled. Oh, he was great. I'm just waiting for him to do pull like an Alec Baldwin. That'd be the ultimate. <laughs> oh, know. he's the new Shooter he's McGavin. The new. <laughs> <laughs> you think he'll do time? Mm -mm. He, he, I don't think he will, and I don't think he should. Really? Yeah, I think the, the gun prop person, that's their fault. Armorer. Armorer. But, he, but he's the producer. Yeah. If you're the producer, you've got to hire the right people. Well, there's I don't think that's bad a, producers. A legal industry. jeopardy, though. I think that's like uh, he ethical. Well, no, no, a money thing. Like you have to owe the family money, but not not you're not in legal. They're still jeopardy. making that movie. That movie better be good. It's not good. <laughs> I can tell you, it's gonna be horrible. <laughs> oh my god! If you're if you're below sixty eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes, yeah. you fucked up. Yeah, but somebody's fired. Yeah. He fired. Uh, <laughs> it's sad though. It's just his whole life changed in a blip. Yeah. Because some person, some armorer, yeah, fucked up and screwed the pooch. Yeah, man. Yeah. Although I heard stories, like you hear stories, like Jack Nicholson, The Departed, during a scene, just takes a gun out. Like Scorsese didn't know he was doing wow. it, but he just takes a gun out 
and points it at Leo. And, can, and they're like, yeah, he looked like nervous. And you're like, yeah, I'd be fucking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine an actor just takes a gun out and you're like, that wasn't in the script. Wow. <laughs> that was, uh, did you ever see Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song? The um, Mario Van Peebles? No, I heard it's or, no. or Melvin Van Peebles. Yeah, the son yeah, of Mario. his dad, but, yeah. Uh, there's a movie they made about it that Mario, his son, made. And there's a whole part about how they said there was a real gun in the mix with the prop guns. And they go, like, he goes, that still gives me nightmares that we never shot anybody. Like, that was, like, on the set, they mixed in a real, like, handgun. Oh, no. What about, what's his name? Crow? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jason Lee? Jason Lee. I'm dying. Yeah. I gotta piss. I'll be right go back. Go piss. Hey, I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, okay. All right, we're getting a little... Of- Oh, in the weeds with movies here. This is, this is a new. <laughs> it is I've never deep even heard cut, of this. Man. <laughs> it's a deep cut. All right, I'll check that out. Uh, what else you got in that brain? Useless film school knowledge and that's sick, know, dude. A lot of Simpson stuff. And, yeah. Oh, hey, same. <laughs> Mostly the goggles Simpsons do quotes. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> What's the most like niche movie you think you know? Besides that one. Two girls, one cup. Yeah. Uh, anything by like Gaspar Noé. He's a French director. It's like. He just makes films that make you uncomfortable, like Irreversible, uh, which is that Monica Bellucci one that's got the nine minute, uh, nine minute, one frame rape scene. It's like really what? Yeah, it's it's like you can't you changed after you see something like that. Yeah, like these comedians are getting trouble for making a rape joke or a gay joke, and this guy's doing a nine minute scene. Yeah, dude. I mean, come on, what are we doing here? Go yeah. go yell at this guy. Guess or don't yell at him. No but way. Don't or yell like anybody. like early Peter Jackson, like his stuff he made and. In New Zealand, like, uh, what is it, Bad Taste, his, like, alien movies. and Okay. This well, is all, like, you know, stuff you used to have on DVD, and now you get, like, it's really hard to find streaming. Yeah. So. Yeah, all the banned films. Yeah. Now, now, what do you like? We got to get it back to you. You're the guest. Oh, man, it's all right. Um, what do you like, porn, anal, Jews? Yeah, dude, all of it, man. All right. Yeah. Eat fucking Jewish anal porn, man. Yeah. Serve it up, man. Jap. Serve it up. Now... Nah, man. Uh, I, I like I like a lot of the A twenty four stuff lately. Oh, they're killing it. Yeah, yeah. They're like the last movie house yeah. left. They just yeah. bought the Cherry Lane Theater. What in your neighborhood? Ah, it's a great room. Yeah, Damn. I don't know what they're gonna do with it. Like show movies, show plays. It's a playhouse. Yeah, I don't right? know. It's a playhouse. I hope they don't turn on a movie theater. But they probably do plays. I'd imagine. Oh yeah, yeah. A twenty four plays. Yeah, they do cool stuff. So I feel like they got a brain in there. That'd they be funny. If Leonardo walked by. He's like. Eight twenty four. So no, they're right on the edge. Yeah. yeah. So let me ask you. You're uh you're on the internet a lot. I am. Do you? Because I I post videos maybe twice a week. You do. And it's it's a nightmare. I see them. Yeah. Do you have a uh, like? Do you, you start to like feel overwhelmed? Like I have. I'm on this rat race, this treadmill, and you can't stop. Yeah. You, you'll never escape that on the internet. It's a bummer. Yeah, it really sucks. Do you think it's fucked up your like sense of happiness? Um, no, because I think I've been able to do it long enough that I'm a little bit desensitized to it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just used to it. But I don't think it ever fully goes away. It's like this weird in between where I'm okay with it, but I yeah. still feel that feeling of the grind. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it's like bittersweet because you're like it's selling tickets. I'm making a couple bucks. People are enjoying it. Yeah. But you're like, I want to just sit down for 10 minutes and not mm-hmm. think about what's my next video. Because right when you put one out, you're like, okay, I'm good. And then a day goes by and you're like, what's next? Yeah, I need another one. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like the ball up the hill. It's weird that it's work. Because it is work. It doesn't yeah. feel like work. But you're like, I need a clip. Yeah. I know. I need a vid- but you're like, this is work? Yeah. But it is. Yeah. It's work. Ronan put it best. He said, comedians are never working and always working at the same time. Yeah. Mm. And it's so true. Because we're like, we need a new bit. We got to do a show. We're on a flight. So mm-hmm. we're like sitting on a flight, not working, but you're still kind of working. Yeah, your brain's on. For yeah. Sure. I can't remember you... who said it, but they said uh, they don't pay me to do the shows. They pay me to travel. Yeah, Dom Herrera said that. Good. Dom Herrera's got some of the best lines ever. You know, yeah. you know his joke. I love his joke when he says, whenever a comedian will say, true story. Who cares? Say something funny. <laughs> yeah. as, if, as if anyone's leaving the show. Man, that, that Dom Herrera stunk, but boy, did he have integrity. <laughs> That's such a great comedian's joke. Great joke. He's a classic, man. Oh, yeah. He's so <clears throat> funny. Do you guys? How long did you guys get comfortable filming for like the internet? Because I feel it's different filming yourself to review, but then filming it to like put it out. Did you feel like you went through a period where you like knew you were recording? 
Oh, uh, yeah. You know I, what I mean? Like I got over that pretty quick. Yeah. Okay. When you record every show, you get over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, the thing is, I first started doing it when I noticed my Comedy Central Hour positive influence when it came out. I was like, I'm getting more people, more fans from the clips than the yeah. actual special. I yeah. Know. So then I, and then the big one for, I think people like Mark and myself was when Comedy Central started shooting This Week at the Cellar. Yeah. Yes. And we were forced to write topical. Yeah. And then it was like, they weren't, Plug, they weren't giving us those clips and I was kind of like well I'm not going to put that joke in my act Yeah. so let me get this up and then those jokes would do well and when they're doing well it's would they motivation. give you those clips? Would they let you? Yeah once okay. we pushed them but they were yeah. like they were always a step behind Yeah. where I was like can I get that clip and they were like oh we're not doing that and I was like okay well I got someone to just cut it for me because I was like what do you mean we're not doing that yeah. Yeah. and then a year later they hired someone to do it and I was like do you guys get that you want <laughs> this is for your social media Yeah. yeah. but uh it, I think it made people like Mark and myself really write t current, and then when the jokes do well on social media, you're like, "Well, I should write more of those." Yeah, right. That's I mean, that's how I found you was like just clips during the oh, pandemic, shit. and so it works. Two. Yeah, I, I watched some video from like an internet guy, and he said, "In the future, we'll have uh, fatigue, content fatigue." Yeah, because we're all just like inundated with content. We're putting out content. We're watching content. Eventually, people will be like, I can't keep this up. Yeah. So eventually, it'll just be like back to normal. One comedy special every three years. One album every three years. Like, it'll just go back to- I don't know, dude. I don't know I'd either. Like but I, don't, I like to think. I like to think, think too. So. Yeah. Praying to God. By the way, what pussy this generation is. <laughs> what a bunch of pussies we've become. It, it, it used to be battle fatigue. We have content fatigue. <laughs> yeah, dude. We're the worst. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> but also, comics in the 80s did the same act for- 25 years yeah and we're cutting clips twice a week yeah so we are uh, comics are doing more we're selling more tickets than ever like how many comedians are in arenas right now it used to be one comic it was like eddie murphy then you know dice, dice. clay and yeah. steve martin before that well, and that was dice, it when dice did the garden it was like oh that was like huge it. and then huge. and now look how many comics play msg <clears throat> yeah how many how many tickets is that was the cap Nineteen thou. that's 18? crazy Damn. Maybe maybe a little less in that room. I think once they box it off, it might be like fifteen or something yeah. or fourteen. But it's still, still pretty a crazy. Shit ton of tickets. It's still oh, MSG. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's Massive. pretty fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. That is best wild. arena in the world, baby. What do you guys like better, big rooms, small rooms? Oh, uh, in the middle. Yeah. yeah. I like theaters, but I like um, like the seven hundred, one thousand. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. It, yeah. Well, some of the big ones feel that small. Like, I yeah. was at the Wilbur. I was like, well, that's 1,100, but it feels like 300. I, mm -hmm. You know, it feel, so I love that. Yeah. Uh, one of the bigger ones, Mark and I always talk about, there was one in Seattle called uh, The Moor. And I love it's 1,800, oh, but I it's love amazing. it. It's yeah. like, it's fucking perfect. It's like three levels, but they're all on top of each other. And you just feel like a wave. You yes. Know? And it's booming. Bah! Yeah, love that. I would I would tape a special there. Oh yeah, that or oh, yeah. maybe the Wilbur for the next one. I don't know. Totally, those are both classics. I love certain cities. You just love too. You know, like I, something about San Diego is always so good. I love really? San Diego. San Diego is so good. Great crowds. They they seem happy. You know, they're fun. It's a fun town. Yeah. How about Sunshine you? What, what do you What do you like? Uh, <laughs> recently I I really like performing in the Midwest. I feel oh like Midwest just, is great. Yeah. Just, you know, they're down for whatever. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Love that. This, I, this is a bold statement, and feel free to cut the mic and get a new co-host, but I think- <laughs> A lot the, of steps there. This is the first time in history where New York doesn't seem like on the cutting edge. Hmm. I go, I feel like, I know, I know, <laughs> New York boy, Knicks, Randall, Jersey, <laughs> Westbrook, Duncan, Robinson, but- He's just naming black people. I'm just naming black people. people who are tall. But I'm He's just white, saying. He's white, by the way. Ah, I assumed. Uh, <laughs> I assume. <laughs> NBA player, I don't know. All right. I feel like comedically, <laughs> New York used to be where you got, you got good, you cut your teeth, you tried new shit, you fucked around. And now I feel like I go to... I go to Philly or Cleveland or Phoenix, and they're they're more open to weirder material. Then I come to New York, and they're way more like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't want to get involved. I don't want to. I don't want to laugh at that, and have someone see me laugh at that. And it's the first time where I'm like, come on, New York, we're we're artists, we're doing it. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know what you're saying. I still, th <laughs> all right. I still think though, do that. It's 
for your crowd in New York, they're still going to be great. But yeah, if you're at a random crowd, <laughs> right? But I think I would say L.A. is way worse. L.A. is worse. Way more LA offended stinks. easily than than New York. I, I still think New York's great, but I, I hear it's what great. You're saying. Obviously, it's great. Yeah. It's the best city in, in America. But I'm still I'm saying it's shifted comedically where I'm like, oh wow, it's weird that the Midwest joke, the Midwest crowd got that joke and you guys didn't. And that's a bummer because I always mm. think of New York as the pinnacle, the peak of trend. Yeah. Thoughts, L.A.? You worked L.A. Oh, bro. I, L, I mean, I love living in L.A. just because I grew up there. But, yeah, the, the crowds are – everyone's, like, too cool to laugh. Yes. They, like, want to leave. Stinks. You yeah. go to Irvine or Oxnard or Brea, and they're great. Yeah, yeah. But you get in the heart of L.A., and it's a bunch of queef fest. <laughs> Stinks. They are. Mark's right. It is a queef fest. Yeah, they're really it's, fucking – It's not fun. It, it, they really get highly – and they're also jaded. On top of being yeah. sensitive, they're jaded mm. in a way where, like – you see, like, a famous dude go up in New York. They're like, oh, my God. There's still a sense yes, of excitement. Yes. You see him in L.A., they're like, yeah, whatever. You yeah, know? right. I'm like, yeah, that's you're lucky to see this comic. Totally. I mean, Bill Burr said it first, so don't attack me. But he was like, I come to New York now. I bomb it all day. Everybody's, like, freaked out by my act. He's like, I, got, I learned how to be a comedian in New York. And now I come here, and everybody, like, random crowds are like, whoa, what's this guy talking about? Mm. And he's like... What? I think COVID played a big role in it. I think oh. a lot of people left, and I think it's a new crop. So I think it's just that the people that are coming to the shows now are just much younger. Uh. So I think they'll get cool again. But I think right now these are like young people. Yeah. Grow up, you twinks. Come on. <laughs> let's get some life experience. It's just so – I think it's also society and like – People are nervous now. You know, there's a guy jerking off on the sidewalk. Everybody's like, no problem. And then I'm like, so what's up with uh, Puerto Ricans? And I'm like, we got to get out of here. This is dangerous. You know, I'm like, wait, what? Well, we got our priorities are all out of whack. You yeah. know, you're half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're half something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it East LA? What? <laughs> yeah, nice try. Please. Yeah, he's trying to, yeah, he's trying to wait, get me to. Where are you from again? I forgot. I was born in Toronto. Oh, right, but right, you grew right. up in L.A. Pretty much, yeah. Uh -huh. I grew up in, like, actually, like, a mountain suburb outside of L.A. Whoa. So, yeah, it was, like, a weird... The town is, like, pretty developed now, but when we moved there, a lot of the, like, the roads were, like, two-lane. So, Whoa. Yeah. It's when I go to the Midwest, I kind of, like, go, oh, man, this weirdly reminds me of, like, where I grew up. Totally. Just some, some aspects of it. I, I remember I was getting picked up for a gig in Michigan once but the guy picked me up and uh, he had one of those uh, breathalyzers he needed to start oh, yeah. the car oh yeah was he like Sam yeah. help me out <laughs> like, you, can't help you won't get up tonight unless you blow into this <laughs> but I, I remember this is like I can't I don't know why but it's like this is what the phones have done to us yeah. where he starts breathing into it and I took my phone out the video tape he's like please I, I was like I'm sorry it was just instinct <laughs> I thought it was funny. funny that is funny but then Dang. it makes you it does random tests because you could start it up and then start drinking so you'll be driving and then he'll be like I gotta pull over and blow into it again oh, what? you can just keep Whoa. the car running I never thought of that just never turn the car off and then go to the bar Wow. Yeah. Oh, Genius. yeah, I guess. Damn. We're from the freeway, dude. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to, I call my dick the breathalyzer. <laughs> a lot of drunk. Yeah. All right. But, uh, nice, wow. Dude. That's crazy. Yeah. That's really when you got to get your life in, in shape. But it is, I'm also like, this is who you sent to pick me up. This isn't exactly the fucking A team, <laughs> you know? Hilarious. <laughs> but, uh, are you it, guys working on any bits? Oh, you know what would be funny is if a plane had one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down. He's got a lot of DUIs. Oh, you got any peeves, too? Peeves. Peeves. I mean, I, I got them. I had some prepped. Hit me, baby. Hit me. I got a lot of airport peeves lately. Oh, Bring please. it on, fatty. We love those. I can't stand people that don't have, like, spatial awareness uh, in the airport. That drives me nuts, dude. People would just started. stop to look up at the board. Like, yes! just move to the side. Yes! Move to the side. I thought you were talking about fat people in seats. <laughs> <laughs> because there's an oh, epidemic in this country, and I got nothing against the fatties. I was a fat kid. My whole family's fat. But it's this. I'm sorry, Matt. You're a large man. But <laughs> the there's a going secondhand on? fat going around. Second and we all talk about secondhand smoke because you're smoking. Now you breathe on me. Why do I have to deal with your smoke? I, think I feel the same with fat. I feel like I can't comment. All right. All right. Yeah, this is not a good look. Just three. It's like a bunch of skinny dudes like fat people. Am I right? <laughs> well, it's rude. It's inconsiderate. Like, just because you're fat. Matt, you want to get in on this? I, mean... well, I, I don't mind you being fat. You can be fat all day. You can live your life as much as you want. But when it's encroaching into my space. <laughs> no, I know. But it's just, it, I totally get what you're saying. But it's just funny to call it rude that someone's fat. Like, well, like, like you just turned over to them in the seat. Like, do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> well, like, if you have a boner. 
great. You're allowed to have a boner. But if you're boner. You're comparing a boner to fat? Well, I'm trying to think of something gross. <laughs> what the hell? I'm just saying, if it's coming into other people's world, now it's our problem, too. Yeah, that'd that's be a problem my... from a boner, too, for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, why yeah. I used it. You're yeah, a yeah. lot of skinny privilege over there. So. All right. Yeah. We, need yeah. fo- we need Foley to weigh in on it. Yeah. I would say that's privilege because you're getting my seat, too. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but the boner will go away at some point. Well, you can lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> but you're like a large human. Even if you were thin, you'd still be a large guy. You're six eight or whatever. But yeah, how tall are you, Matt? Six four. Six okay. four. Yeah. He's a Mr. Beast. I'll work on the weight. Sorry. I don't care about the weight, but we're not sitting on a on a tiny uh, single engine Cessna going to Toledo. You know. Do you think airlines should just carve out like big bone seats? Maybe. Uh, maybe they should charge more. But yeah. Hook no, just hook hook, hook the big people up. You know. Well, somebody's got to pay for those inches. True. Just saying. Talk True. boners? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Boners or size. But again, people take this as like fat. Ang- I'm not, I'm not, I have nothing against, I have no hatred towards the yeah. the people of size. I'm just saying <laughs> if it's uh, encroaching on other people's life, then it's rude. As uh, Same with the bone. Here's what I think. Okay. I think the airlines have made the seats smaller. We've gotten bigger as people. Okay. And the airlines have gotten us smaller. So what happens is you should be mad at the airlines for making the seats this Also yeah. mad at the airlines. As, as opposed to the heavier people. I think this is what the airlines do. They get us fighting with each other like over and over. Uh, as opposed to, you know, actually being like, point. you're fucking us. It's like yeah. politics. Yeah. yeah. They get us fighting with each other. We should be yeah. getting along. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at the old seats. Now that. It's fit. funny. We were thinner then. And the we're, seats we're, were bigger. smaller. Smaller. Yeah. yeah I don't know a, if we were thinner. I think like they were probably ah. in worse shape, but they were they were smaller people. Right. But you look at a Woodstock photo. There's they ain't one tubby in there, and they're all shirtless. Yeah, well, they, they didn't eat. They were just on drugs all day. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Whatever yeah. works. They also didn't shower. They didn't do anything. Fucking hipster burnouts, man. Yeah. Hippies. Get a jug. Get a haircut. <laughs> get burnout. Look at that. What? Any other airport peeves? <clears throat> Sorry. Oh no, you're fine. I yeah, I didn't mean to trigger you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was like ISIS on a fucking know, peeve right there. That was <laughs> more like ice thing. But, yeah. Uh, what was it again? Spatial awareness. Oh, spatial that, awareness. That yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's a good peeve. Yeah. yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. You get that a lot where people will just like they'll just stand in front of the door of a subway yeah uh, and i'm like you gotta move geez, or i'm gotta stuck move. on the train yeah you're man. here yeah. I, no, people I that, that people that get up from behind you and then just they're in front of you yeah like, like you know oh that's like, a problem like i'm trying i'm on the aisle too and like the whole family is from four rows back and yeah. all of a sudden they're like lined up yeah and no one stood up yet oh, i i hate when the, they'll do that whole there are 30 people on this flight that have to make a connection oh, so if you can let yeah. them stand up first and they just leave it to us to figure it out right and then right. you see the one person cheating it and you're like well yeah really life hack you have a connection <laughs> get your ass up and run out of there you're the reason I miss connections <laughs> yeah dude yeah whatever happened to miss connections remember that that was a yeah. big thing that was big on Craig's yeah, yeah the they must still have that somewhere it's gotta be yeah. there man Gotta be. Pull it up. See if I think it's just Tinder took over. It's like ah. we can we can fuck anybody we want now. And so it's a good point. Yeah. No, nah, I, f- I feel like misconnection still has to be around. You know, just a little, just yeah. a little throwback. What are the odds that you both check it in this day and age? <sighs> I know that's a good point. Do young people even know what we're talking about right yeah, now? Yeah, definitely. Young young people people know to, what it was in the paper originally, wasn't I it? I know, but if you're, if you're 19 and you're listening to this podcast, do you know what a misconnection is? I don't. Oh no, not on Craigslist. Not like that. Craigslist, dude. Definitely not. All the weirdest shit. You fucking you oh, meet a yeah. roommate. You find a, a, a whore. Yeah, you know it's yeah. crazy. Everything. I did a show a recently, cupboard. and uh, <laughs> I mentioned nine eleven, and I said to I said to this girl in the front row, I was like, "How old were you when nine eleven happened?" She's like, uh, "I wasn't born." Ooh. I went, "What?" That's oh my cuckoo. god! The whole room just was like, "Oh!" And I'm like, "I'm like, have you seen it?" She's like, "I mean, yeah, like on Twitter." I'm like, that's oh, crazy, dude. And DiCaprio rolls in. Yeah. <laughs> My third DiCaprio I had a kid joke. drinking at the bar the other night that said he did his senior year on Zoom during COVID. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, well, you can already, oh, I guess you can drink. Yeah. That is wild. Yeah, dude. Wow. Yeah. Cuckoo. Yeah. She, was, she was 21. 
And she's legal, and she's never heard of nine eleven. Well, that's the craziest part. Like yeah. you think, oh, she's never heard of nine eleven. She's probably five, but yeah. she's twenty one. Yeah, she's twenty one. Yeah, yeah, uh, that fucked me up. Which is so weird because this, this is why my beef with the the twenty one year old crop. I know all about D Day. I wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah, well, that is. You should probably know what nine eleven is. Yeah. Well, she's from New Zealand, to be fair. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, that yeah, yeah, that yeah, changes yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. But you guys ever performed there? No. No. I'd love to. I'm going to Australia in July. Oh, did you did you like New Zealand? Uh, I mean, it's a, one of the most beautiful places. Oh, it's gorgeous. Um, yeah. the crowds are just a little bit different. Like, How so? Um, they're gnomes. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all small. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're like, yeah, this, one of them's looking for a ring. No, nah, um, they're like, they're very kind of like culturally like a little bit to themselves. Mm. So they don't. They don't seem like they laugh out loud very often. Ooh, I hate that. Yeah, yeah. So after I did the show, uh, I got a friend like, who's from there. His boy was talking to me after. And he could tell I was like a little bit in my head. And he said, oh, man. He said, for New Zealand, he's like, that's a great set, dude. Uh, wow. Yeah, he said, out here, he's like, we're known. We like we shake comedians kind of thing. So, oh, interesting. Yeah. It's that's, like L.A. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the, uh, that's just how we laugh. Well, fucking learn how to laugh. Yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> it's affecting my show. <laughs> totally. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of like, you make them laugh, and they're just very kind of like, <laughs> ah. Yeah. So you're like, damn, all right. Keep, yeah. Or maybe I was just bombing, you know, who knows, but. No, but yeah. I've definitely done those. There's certain types of cities sometimes where they're like, that's good for here. I mean, I feel like that's what Brooklyn shows are like. Yeah, true, true. I do. I feel like they're just like, they're like, yeah, we nod. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, Parts you, of Australia were like that too. Agreed. Yeah. I've done, I did the Melbourne Fest years ago and it was yeah. a lot of like, yeah. You're like, come on, I need it. Ireland had a hint of that too. Ireland did have a hint of that. Mm. It's very like impressive. Mm, yeah. I like that. But you're like, <laughs> I need the ha ha because it's a con- for us, it's the interactive conversation. Yeah. Joke, laugh, joke, laugh. It's like a, a breathing thing. Yeah. And this throws off your rhythm. So you have to like adapt mm-hmm. mid set. Yeah, it's a different set. Yeah, definitely. Where's your favorite place to perform? This is going to sound crazy with Cleveland. Cleveland's yeah, I love Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hilarities? Say, Hilarities, the club, is, I think, one of the best clubs in the country. Killer. Mm. I love it. Yeah, I well, love and Nick Columbus. And I love Sam. Columbus is great Columbus too. Is good. I'll be there soon. I yeah. love Columbus. Best funny bone in the country. Yeah, that's a good funny bone. Yeah, the flagship. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, I remember f- walking up to it the first time. You know, you're crossing the Lego Land, and I'm like, yes, oh boy. yeah, like, <laughs> never a good sign. Yeah, yeah. But then you get in there, and it's that beautiful tall ceiling, and the acoustics are amazing. Yeah. It's yeah, awesome. it's like just walking past the lids to follow our dream. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I remember we, that, that's where we went to like a cheesecake factory, and yep. I'm like, man, a cheesecake factory on a Saturday morning, mm. you just are like, fuck these kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that cheesecake factory is like a flight to Orlando. It stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. And all those clubs are always in a mall, and they all have the same. It's like there's the Sephora, there's the Apple Store, yeah. there's the North Face, there's the Dippin' Dots or whatever yeah. the fuck. And but then you you think Broadway guys must be like there's the hobo there's the dead body there's the guy jerking off there's Elmo with jizz on it and then they go into the Winter Garden. Isn't Dude. Broadway weird because it's like literally a dude with his dick out and Les Mis? Yeah, <laughs> just a weird combo. <laughs> That's true. Good yeah. point. New York, baby. Yeah, you dude. said it's lost its edge. Dude, did you still see dicks out? That's yeah. true. I saw one on my way here. Hey, and I saluted it. <laughs> I said, Good for you, sir. My boner was in his space. <laughs> <laughs> Keep tourists scared. Yeah. The tourists are back, by the way. Oh, yeah. They are back with a <clears throat> vengeance. Do you guys feel it? Like the difference when they oh, show up? Oh, I feel it. I live in the village, so it's like all these people at the park, the Washington Square Park, I and love uh, it. walking down McDougal and Bleecker. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just glad the homeless people have like another person to target other than me. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm glad they're here. Yeah, the Taking decoy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any peeves, Mark? I had a, I got a couple. I had one on the way here. How about the guy with the dog on the zippy thing with the he's got the uh, handle and it's yeah. got it can retract and and stretch. But he's got he's on the left side of the sidewalk. The dog's on the right. So now there's a fucking tripwire oh, on the busiest shit. sidewalk in America. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, so we're, we're all doing this shit and stepping over and trying to get around it. It's like reel it in, Dickless. No. This goes off a peeve of mine. Ooh. 
the the dog the leash wrapped around your waist. Oh, on oh, a really? kid? No, no, oh, for the kid. dog. Yeah, oh, dude. no, this is New York, not the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> the leash around your waist connected to the dog. You're walking down Broadway and you're not hiking Everest, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it yeah. bugs yeah, me. Yeah. It bugs me. Yeah, you want yeah. a dog? Fucking own it. Hold yeah. that thing. Yeah, yeah hold the dog. And Jerry yeah. had that. There's a you know that joke. It was the it was like like he's a marlin. You got him out on a line. Oh, yeah. you know, like. <laughs> That's a great line. He goes. Uh, if you if an alien came down, they would think the dogs ruled us, right? Because they're pulling us. Then we pick up their shit. Then we mm. feed them. You know, true. Great bit. Great bit. Classic. Do either either of you have dogs? No. No oh, man. Do you have a dog? Yeah, yeah. What kind? He's dude. He's a like a he's a Chihuahua Dachshund mix. Mm. He's such a another hint. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Well, they're We're both mixed it out. Oh, if I eat it, that might give you. <laughs> <laughs> I might throw you off too, there man. Why well, do you think that leans in Mexican now? Yeah, Chihuahua. Chihuahua yeah. Mm. Cultural. A lot of white yeah. girls have Chihuahuas. Okay. Yeah, dude. Hey. Dachshund though, German. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Dachshunds are cute. Those little bitty arms. Yeah. 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 So yeah. little. The yeah. yeah. The fat belly and the little arms and legs. You got to love it. The belly's like this close to the ground. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. Like my ex. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. I had another peeve. Oh, how about this guy? The guy who, who keeps harping on something that he didn't know about you, but it just continues to hurt your feelings. <laughs> I had this guy. He's like a. A fan. He's like, oh, good to meet you. I did the meet and greet. And he's like, man, how tall are you? I'm like, I don't know, 5'10". He's like, wow. thought you'd be taller. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? Got to tell you. I really thought you were taller than that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know what to tell you there. God, you know, 5'10". You come off as like 6'6". Six, six. All right, I get it. You don't know how tall I am. Now you're just bumming me out. <laughs> yeah. So dude. that guy is annoying. Yeah, I know that one very well. Who was that uh, comic who came up with the term compusult? Compusult. That's Albert Brooks. Albert Brooks. <laughs> yeah. Where it's like compliment, compliment, insult. It's mm. coming. And he's like, after the second compliment I get when I'm doing the meet and greet, I'm just like, stop there. Get out. Yeah, get out. Yeah, you know, it's like, hey, I love your show. Really funny. My wife hates you, but I love you. <laughs> That's a weird one. Yeah, I put I put your special on for my whole family. They couldn't stand it. Yeah, but I kept yeah. being like, give them a chance. It didn't connect. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. hey, right. Funny stuff. Yeah. The ending sucked, but good. Good jokes. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah, dude. I get the height one a lot. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm I'm not a. Yeah, I'm not if you wanted to the, try uh, the uh, paper plane too. Oh no, I'm chilling, man. I'm I'm just getting over something, so I might. Oh, are you? Yeah, here, everyone's yeah. sick right now. Yeah, everyone I'm talking to is sick. How yeah. tall are you, Sam? I'm six three, but according you come to Wikipedia, off like six seven though. Do mm -hmm. I? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just saying. Oh, okay. No, yeah. uh, Robinson. Apparent, but apparently, according to Wikipedia, I'm five ten because I met a girl and she was and she was like, "Oh, I thought you'd be shorter." Is what she said. Oh, oh. must be nice. <laughs> it was, and uh, no, but it was, but I, but everyone <clears throat> thinks I'm, uh, and everyone thinks I'm from Massachusetts because of Wikipedia. What? No, because of Letterman, he said that. No, it was before that. I think he thought I was from Massachusetts because of that. Because oh. uh, originally Chelsea Manhattan, and someone oh. put Chelsea MA, so they think I'm from Chelsea, Massachusetts. Oh. So I think that's why Letterman thinks I'm from Boston. Interesting. Letterman Dang. was on a – what show was he on? It was on Neil's pod. And he's like, this uh, this young guy, Sam, from Massachusetts. And everyone's like, no. From Boston. Sam J. Yeah. Yeah. From Massachusetts. From Boston. Interesting. Okay. Dang. Yeah, I was going to say, your recent clips, you look fucking ginormous, dude. Do I? Yeah. Are you serious? It was just like, the whole, you're like the whole reel. I'm like, damn, <laughs> this dude's well, got to be 6'10". <laughs> I see why he likes ball. Uh, must be, suck to be 6'10 and not be good at basketball. Yeah, yeah. dude. Imagine being like 6'10". Are you good at basketball? I, mean, I played growing up. Yeah, yeah I could tell I'm you probably. 6'4". Yeah. No, but yeah, six, imagine being 6'4 and bad at basketball and sports. And, no. <laughs> oh, you played? What, what was your position, man? Yeah, I can see that. Ooh, well, and do you, would you play any other sports? You play football too? My school didn't have football. Really? Basketball? <clears throat> How about baseball? Yeah, I play baseball. Were you the biggest kid on the court? Yeah. So were you just putting up double digits? I hope baseball makes a comeback. Baseball's so fucking American. By the way, you know what movie I rewatched recently? That is, it holds up. It's fucking phenomenal. Another wreck. Bull Durham. Oh, I love Bull Durham. That's a great fucking movie. I just rewatched that on a plane like a month ago. That's like uh, kind of the weirdly like the it's not like The Graduate, but it is like the next Cougar. Yeah, yeah. Susan Sarandon is so yeah. sexy in it. 
It's a, it's a whole fuck fest movie. It's all about banging. It's so good. <laughs> There's so many funny lines. I'm definitely in it. gonna watch it now. Oh, oh dude, it's, it's fun. It's yeah. a great script. It's funny as hell. Yeah, Costner's well, so cool in that movie. He is, and uh, Tim, Tim Robbins. Robbins. He's got to be six five. Oh yeah, he's a big dude. Give it a goog. <clears throat> but yeah, great she's movie. Pretty foxy. Yeah, she's got a milfy quality for sure. And I love that <laughs> clavicle. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. It's all clavicle. You suck her neck bone? Oh, yeah. Nice. Like a, like a ribeye. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Try to get it out of my teeth. Put some garlic on that neck bone. Yeah, Your daughter looks just like her, too. Oh. Pull her up. She's on Californication as a, strip, <laughs> as a stripper. I think she's actually less attractive. I, really? Than I, did Susan. you see the stripper scene with David Duchovny? On oh. Oh, I take it back. <laughs> Much hotter. Would you? Nah. <laughs> Come on. I'd He's a married man. Tim Robbins. <laughs> wow, she does look like her, yeah. How about that? Is that is it Tim Robbins her dad? Oh, I assume. They're still together, right? No, I don't think they're still together. Ooh. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, yeah. Look at the Hooters. Big on. chest. Yeah, look at that. Tits McGee. Yeah, my God. I'll tell you. They're all right. Wow. Big Hooters really seem to care. <laughs> I think that's got to be Tim's daughter because she's a tall cup of jizz. Tim Duncan. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Duncan. <laughs> look at that shit. Hachi machi. It's kind of weird to be have a hot daughter because you just know everybody wants to bang your daughter. That's got to be a weird feeling. It's weird to have a hot mom, too. Yeah, but, you know, she made you. You came out of there. I think both are weird. Yeah, I guess you're right. Both you're probably more protective, but like, yeah, you knew the kid growing up with the hot mom, and like, that was not good. No, no that's a complex. Because you always make jokes about yeah. it, and they're like, they're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone wants to do your mom. Yeah. Okay, there you go. So glad my mom looks like uh, Paula Dean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that could have been attractive to somebody. I you guess you're right. Knew. Black guys like her. <laughs> they did. <laughs> they did. <laughs> I'm fucking that tide turned, my friend. Mm -hmm. Is well, there a story you, behind that? Oh, she said the N word. Oh, well. my mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, Paula Dean. Yeah. Do you have gigs you want to uh, plug on this upcoming uh, tour? Oh man, no, I'm just you can you know go to my website noelmillerlive.com, man. I'm I'm going everywhere, dude. Um, Damn, I'll UK, be, Europe. Look at that shit. Yeah, man. I'll You're be, busy. Yeah, dude. Be all over Midwest, Northeast. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, dude. I am. Um, Stand up was always like my like my first goal yeah and the internet stuff kind of just took over but i managed to like be on stage while the internet stuff was growing so right. i've been getting back to it for the past like two years i'd say um nice yeah i think i'm gonna film this set and then they might just start over i want to spend like a month out here after i film it and just grind and hell yeah know. yeah dude Do all right, right well, way. We'll, we'll help you out with oh. spots connections oh dude that'd, that'd be great man i would yeah. uh yeah I'm I know this guy. He's brown. <laughs> That's about all I know. Yeah, we don't know if he's funny yet. No idea. <laughs> funny guy, killing it. You're everywhere. I mean, half that shit was sold out. Yeah, dude, it's uh, it's it's been great. Yeah. Wow. So look come at see that. me. Look man. at his May: Dublin, Helsinki, Oslo, Stockholm, May wow. 11th, and Birmingham, and then London on the 12th. Yeah, man. Sheffield on the 17th of May. I mean, this is an incredible tour. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Right. Uh. <laughs> What do you got, Mark? Got oh, my website's all backed up. I'm all over the road. Coming to Oxnard Improv. That'll be a big <laughs> one. Uh, I'm doing Bozeman, Montana. We just added Ooh. a show. I went to college yeah. there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Montana State. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. I've never been. It's one of the few states I've never been to Same is Montana. Here. I'm dying to go. Hell yeah. yeah, I'm all over the place coming to. I got San Diego, all over California, LA, Sacramento, SF, then all over your favorite city, Columbus, Cincinnati, Indy. Kalamazoo, fucking Toledo, York, Bethlehem, Wilmington, Delaware, Maryland, Philly. Then I'm doing, it's a whole long run. It's all my website, samurel.com slash shows. Nashville, Ryman Theater, baby. Chattanooga, Birmingham, Memphis, Knoxville, Charlotte, Asheville. Every fucking, San Antonio, uh, Houston. I'm everywhere, so I'll see you on the road. You, Paramount Theater in Denver is magical. Oh, I'm doing Denver too. Good call. Santa Fe, everywhere. samurel.com slash shows. Can't fucking wait. Drink your Bodega Cat Whiskey yeah. at bodegacatwhiskey.com. Uh, Pat? Come see me at Joey Rose's uh, Tuesday, <laughs> Thursday, Saturday. Yeah, check it out. Salamanca? Go see live comedy. You got that right. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks right. for letting me chill, Tom? boys. There you go. All right. Okay, Tom will be with Noel. Peter, yeah. sorry about the... Uh... So the new airline just for Pat. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
All right, heavy set air. <laughs> All right, you guys have been great. We love you. Keep listening. Tell your friends. Sunday's the day for me.